Welcome back to the pouch tutorial part two. Today we will uh, add some stitches around the edge of the pouch. Uh, let's get started. So basically, uh, duplicate the pouch just to make a copy, just in case. So I download uh, some uh, free stitches uh, from Gumroad, and then I will put the description. Uh, I will put where to download it in the description. So go to geometry. And under uh, Z remeasure, uh, make sure uh, enable keep groups, and then follow the setting I show here. So basically, I want to use Z remeasure to uh, unitize the topology a little bit better. Um, you can see now everything is a little bit more even than before. Um, just to clean things up a little bit for um, to get ready for the the stitches. So now go to Z modeler and use an uh, insert edge loop just to add an uh, edge in the middle of the, the, the green area. So hold down Control shift to activate the select rectangle and make sure it's in the lasso mode. Um, hover over the middle of the edge and to um, hide the edge loop. Press comma and then go to light box. Um, locate where you save the stitches insert brush. And then drag the insert brush along the edge. The key is to hold on shift, so it will go uh, around as a loop. A tip here is you can go to brush, depth, and then play around with the embed value to control how much and how like how deep you want to uh, uh, embed the insert brush. Another tip is to uh, play around with the draw size. Um, so you can uh, decide how big or how small you want the insert brush to be. So let's say now we get um, the stitches the, the way we want and then just press split on mass point to split the stitches out as its own uh, subtool. So between recording I actually decided to change it to another uh, style of uh, stitches insert brush. So now um, I'm just using the standard brush and just draw a little bit of uh, detail on the side of the pouch. Just to draw it again to enhance it more. So now just uh, access the stitches again. So just manually draw it. You can see it's pretty tight there, so isolate the part. You can see it's not easy to get it right in one go, so just try a couple times and then um, until you get something close. Um, okay, now we use a split on mask point to separate the stitches into its own uh, subtool. So we can actually adjust it uh, separately. And now I use a move brush just to um, spread the stitches out a little bit better and then to where I want. And now solo the stitches and then um, just clean it up a little bit. So use Control Shift Alt. Just get rid of the little extra things we don't want and delete hidden. And now uh, bring everything back. You can see the stitches is not quite sitting um, close on the surface. So I will use the uh, move topological brush. Just uh, manually adjust each one so they can um, move separately. And now press W to access the transpose gizmo. Hold on Control Shift and um, drag out a copy. And now uh, hold down Control and tap the canvas to invert the mask. And use the Move Topological brush again just to fine tune the stitches. So now I will use the standard brush and then just hold on Alt to uh, carve in a little bit of uh, depth. 
So I will do the same to uh, all the area that has stitches on it. Hope you learned something in this tutorial. Please like, share, and remember to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.